Semaphore uh, is reporting that billionaire tech critic Frank McCourt is mounting a bid to buy and rebuild TikTok. For more on this story, let's bring in Ben Smith, co-founder uh, and editor-in-chief of Semaphore. And, and there, this is true, and this is what uh, I guess Mr. McCourt said. TikTok uh, presents the best and worst of the Internet, and that is you could drive like 10 semis through best and worst. Couldn't you, Ben? It, it's, it, it'd be nice to keep, but at this point it, it seems untenable. Is this a possible answer in your view, a serious one? Well, I mean, if if the government proceeds on the current course, they're going to, you know, somebody will buy TikTok or else it'll be shut down. And McCord is one of two people, the other, Steve Nukin, actually, who are starting to make noise about putting together groups to try to buy it. Um, for McCord, it's an opportunity to not just buy this company, but t try to reshape social media in a way that, you know, would be essentially more open more controlled by its users, less by its uh, less less by its owners. There's a long way from there to the hundred billion dollars or whatever we're talking about that um, it would likely take to buy it. And at this point, China's not selling, right? Or ByteDance isn't isn't selling. And and then how much would it take to totally rework it in in terms of everything? I mean, how do you change it and still have it be TikTok? Yeah, there are so many questions here. China may not let ByteDance sell the company. I think that's unclear. It's you know, China right now is trying to bring foreign investors back, and shutting down a company because they're to make a political point might not be the best way to do that. But I think that's right, totally up in the air. And then if if they do sell it, what what exactly are they selling? Are they selling this app and the users? Are they selling the back end the the algorithm that distributes the videos and recommends to you whatever whatever it is you watch on there, Joe. Um, that's a that's a different question, and there's some suggestions that they would not sell the algorithm, which means whoever buys it to some degree has to rebuild the thing fast. Um, and you know what what McCord is saying is that the whole internet is broken, and that this is an opportunity to scrap the whole thing, totally rebuild it on six different fronts. That's a very daunting and ambitious, uh, ambitious idea. It's, it is kind of weird, I, and I wonder what why pay a hundred billion for something that you're basically couldn't? Would it cost more or less to build it from scratch? The kind of of uh, the kind of thing that he wants to build in in terms of you know basing it on on Project Liberty and decentralized social networking protocol and everything else. Is is there enough there that that? remaining that you'd want to buy TikTok and not just try to do it from scratch? I mean, I think in some sense, the likeliest, the, the scenario in which, in which this makes the most sense is in which some fragment or kind of broken version of TikTok is the only thing that, that, that ByteDance is allowed to sell. And some of the, you know, and the price goes down and the Microsofts and the Oracles and the Walmarts maybe are less interested. I mean, it has enormous value, you know, has a customer base of 170 million Americans and lots of people you know, spend hours on there every day. And so I think that's probably really, that's going to be really interesting to a lot of different players, e yeah. even if it's a little banged up. We just had Gary Vaynerchuk on, and he has me convinced TikTok is the future of all advertising. All the, and, you know, I don't, I don't know whether that's overstating it, but it, it has become an important part uh, of, of a lot of people's lives. And I, I don't know. I, I don't know how the government... Uh, Walks, uh, you know, threads this needle. Do you have a solution? You don't have a solution. I mean, I, I think that when you have a company under this, go ahead, Ben. You know, under the, under this kind of pressure from the government, it's um, you know, its competitors are going to be the biggest beneficiaries. And I think, you know, Meta in particular, Instagram has built a very similar product, locked up with the social networking and the chatting people already do on there. And I think I think as TikTok. You know, just faces this enormous pressure from the government. You, I think its competitors will right. chew up a lot of its a lot of its business because it's it's not. I don't think people are in love with TikTok. They like the creators they follow. They like short videos. Those things can live elsewhere.